hello students uh, let's see some lab programs today one lab program in this video line clipping algorithm already we have discussed about the line clipping in uh, module 3 right uh, coin sutherland uh, line clipping line clipping and polygon clipping concepts we have discussed recall uh, my previous videos i told you to note down the contents as well it must be there in your notebook uh, just go through so selecting a particular portion is called as clipping just recall uh, the various topics we have discussed under it so here we are implementing the line clipping algorithm there are two famous line clipping algorithms we have one is proposed by liang barsky and the other one is cohen sutherland so as a part of lab you are supposed to study about the cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm mm -hmm. fine so here uh, the basic requirements clearly i'll tell you once again uh, a clipping window is must right yeah so assume it is a graph okay this is what output window is you are supposed to display the what are the things to be displayed so first a basic clipping window is required ask the user to enter two end points of the line segment let it be whatever these are the two line segments uh, end points you are of the line segment you have entered uh, your program supposed to plot the line segment between the given two end points right so whether clipping is required required or not required it's obviously required right so what is clipping window clipping window you have selected it is this is what the rectangle you have considered this as the clipping window right only the amount of the line segment the portion of the line segment which falls inside the clipping window should be uh, chosen and redisplayed rest of the portion of the line segment should be simply discarded or cliffed off we are calling it as next what you are supposed to do you are supposed to display the output clipping window let it be the input clipping window this will be the outcome after calculation so after calculation what is to be done only the particular portion of the line segment which falls inside the clipping window should be displayed this is what the outcome here is the input we have right this is what the output is both the clipping windows as well as the line segments will be displayed on the same output screen same output window please understand so these are the just go for the requirement analysis what are the things required things required for this program you are supposed to specify the clipping window first clipping window how many points are required four end points are required to define a rectangle right so one two check the pointer here one so this is one corner two three four these are the four points are required to plot the what input clipping window then you are asking the user to enter these two points of course whatever its value may be then output clipping window is again one two three four points to be considered then after calculation the inside portion inside portion of the rectangle should be redrawn that is the line segment should be calculated uh, the particular portion of the line segment should be calculated for clipping purpose right now recall the coin sutherland uh, line clipping algorithm it has got four borders right a key clipping whatever algorithm it can be uh, clipping rectangle or clipping window will be having how many borders four borders right since it's a rectangle it has got four borders left right bottom as well as top what we are doing we are giving a code for we are giving code for each of the side recall my previous videos i have explained you once that time right each of the side is identified with a code so you are supposed to go through the code for the comparison purpose so you can start from anywhere from left then just check whether any of the portion of the line segment is there uh, beyond the boundary of the left hand side similarly beyond the right border of course it beyond the right border it is there then top as well as bottom you have to and if it is there you have to go for calculation if not there is no issue right let us see the program actually program number the lab manual which i have already shared in the group if you want i uh, will be sharing the same once again uh, so program to clip the lines using uh, line uh, cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm is the question fine go for the initialization uh, check the initial parameters so x minimum y minimum x maximum and y maximums are given 
that is 50 50 100 and 100 these are the four points for the rectangle right see x minimum y minimum use it to define this point x maximum and y maximum is used to define the rightmost topmost corner if you know these two other two can be easily computed since it is a rectangle so if this is x minimum y minimum then what is the pair of value you are supposed to substitute here x minimum only what about y y is maximum right and here x will be maximum what, what about y y will be minimum right each of the border or boundary should be identified with a particular code so what we are doing we are using the code 8421 so 8421 the rightmost border is identified with the integer value 8 and the leftmost is identified with the 2 left then a constant into top we is identified with 4 and bottom with 1 so these are the code values we are using for identifying the boundaries then of oh, this is the computation part there is a function uh, called out uh, compute out code with a two parameter with a return value integer right so just to go through the comment line uh, it observe the line segment above the clipping window below the clipping window right to the right of the clipping window as well as left left corner of the clipping window fine what is to be returned then uh, it has got a coin sudar line this is the algorithm part implementation of the algorithm part of course it takes four parameters of the input line segment x0 y0 x1 y1 fine i'll come to the calculation part later here is the calculation part it includes then we have a display function for displaying init function that is to select the view since it's a 2d model as you can see glo glu ortho 2d is there with 500 and 500 points here is the actually the main function okay from the main function you are going to create you are going to uh, make a call for the display function actually what you are you can do you can ask the user here you can have a printf statement before glut in it you can have a printf statement 
right printf followed by scanf you can have here ask the user to enter the end points of the line segment read them how read them as x0 y0 and x1 y1 it can be double or float whatever x0 y0 and x1 y1 using scanf statement so custom values can be provided as per this uh, the standard values are directly given from the program x0 y0 and x1 y1 values let it be you can even uh, have a printf and scanf statement to record the input from the user that to be that is to be mentioned before glutting it okay title of the window is given using create window then a display function you are making a call for right glut display function of display here the display function is called check the display function so actually it calls the uh, so what it does it draws the line between of course the as i told you earlier x0 y0 x1 y1 are given here in the program this is not compulsory you can directly give it from the main function using give in the sense ask the user to enter and record the user input in that case you are no need to mention this statement over here that's it your jo job is to draw the line segment between the two end points what are the two end points x0 y0 and x1 y1 using the statement gl begin right now line segment is drawn then you are supposed to draw the input clipping window input clipping window will be drawn see with the help of the line loop don't go for polygon since it is not a polygon if it is a polygon it would display as a solid structure see the difference this is what the solid structure is you are unable you will be unable to recognize the line segment then if it is a solid structure please don't go for solid structure that is polygon instead you go for line loop line loop is a hollow structure you can see what is there inside what is included inside right so uh, the four points are taken what are those four points x minimum y minimum x maximum y minimum x maximum y maximum and x minimum y maximum the four end points four corners are taken in sequence in sequence is must okay in sequence you are supposed to take this will be x minimum y minimum you can go for the next point in this way say x maximum y minimum then it will be x minimum y mag oh, sorry x maximum y maximum this will be x minimum y maximum right in either left to right or right to left it should be in sequence don't go in a diagonal fashion in diagonal fashion if you go that is x minimum to x x minimum y minimum to x max y max you will be getting this structure it is not a valid rectangle please understand the only this structure is a valid rectangle you can go through the sequence here x minimum y minimum x maximum y minimum so this is second this is the considered as point number two this will be point number three and point number four is taken fine so the input processing is done input values are recorded and display it is displayed along with the clipping rectangle what is left out left out part is what left out part is the calculation right so you are making a call for the cohen sutherland function right you are making a call for the cohen sutherland function with bypassing a parameter x0 to y0 x1 y1 what are the x0 y0 and x1 y1 values in this case it is uh, um, see here input is directly given 60 20 80 120 it's not compulsory you can directly record the user input okay please remember so next is the calculation part to go through the cohen sutherland module actually here we have that cohen sutherland module which takes how many parameters four parameters one two three four so 60 20 80 120 right these are the values you have passed from there let me confirm it once again yeah 60 20 80 120 fine right please note down the program note down the calculations as well uh, let us uh, continue our discussion about the calculation in the next video it is there in the it is program number five from the manual four programs are completed this is what the fifth program from the lab manual as well as a part of theory module number three okay very very important concepts well, let us continue our discussion about the Cohen-Sutherland line clipping algorithm calculation part in the 
नेक्स्ट वीडियो